Hey guys, welcome back to more Super Mario Galaxy. Uh, we're gonna head over to the terrace. Pardon the sniff. And we just went through the uh, sweet, sweet galaxy in the last episode. Oh, an enemy base. Okay, we're gonna hope they're not misusing the power of that poor grand star. Hope not. That'll be bad, right? Oh, we have eight, so because we got the star from Sweet Sweet Galaxy. Okay. So I was right. In the last episode, I said we are going to take on Bowser Jr.'s robot rat reactor. Let's uh, see what this galaxy is, real quick. Then we'll head on. Flip switch. Is that what it is? Flip switch galaxy, yeah. It's interesting music. Okay. Let's, uh, let's, let's turn this thing around so I can see, first of all, and go to this boss fight. I remember it being a pretty fun boss fight. Right. Legs moon. Looks pretty cool. I hope you guys are doing well today. I hope you... I don't know. I don't know what to say. I hope your day is going better than you thought it would. I hope it's not raining on any of your parades. If you had any birthdays, I hope it was great. Wow! Ouch, that hurt. I just hope you're good. Enough said, right? Okay, I have to have a bullet bill to destroy this, don't I? I like I like the texture and the shine. I don't think you know. I really don't think that was there before in like the Wii version. Look at that. That's so. I mean, up close it looked it doesn't look as good, but that is a. Uh, Really cool from afar, you know, it looks so good. Alright, Bold Bill, let's go. Whoa! Okay, I couldn't crouch because I was up against this thing, right? At least I don't think so. Yeah, see? Ah, oh my goodness, how unfortunate that. Right. I need you again, pal. Hopefully, I'll get some coins soon after I use this launch star. Whoa! Heart just jumped. I need them after feeding that hungry Luma. Here we are. What are you doing here, Bowser Jr.? Come down here and fight like a man. Wahahaha! <laughs> you made it! But I won't even need my dad's help to take care of you. Go, go at him, Mega Leg. Stomp him with the power of your Grand Star. <laughs> when I laugh, I like to descend in pitch. <laughs> like I'm a robot powering down. In my spare time, I like to roleplay as a robot. That's who I mainly go for in my improv class. Okay, so why is it red? It was green, now it's red. What does that mean? You're not gonna stop me, buddy. I have I may have one piece of health left. But I'm still gonna take you down. Okay. Just like Dingo Dial's boss fight in Super Mario. Uh, <laughs> let's get to say Super Mario or something. Crash Bandicoot 3 Warp. Which, man, it's such a good game. Oh no! Oh! I'm dead. Oh no! I have a uh, Crash and Sane trilogy, so you know, eventually I want to do a Let's Play that. Really cool. I have uh, Spyro Reignited trilogy, 
play that, beat it, it's really fun. I have Crash Bandicoot 4. And I recently beat that. Well, I... I... I didn't beat it 100%. Well, not 100%, even like, you know. There's still a couple levels after the final boss, apparently. But... <laughs> ha ha ha! Don't need my dad's help! Blah blah blah, go get a Mega Leg, stop him with the Grand Star! Ha 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 ha! Powering girl! May I not, maybe I, I've never noticed before, but it, uh, I never realized Bowser Jr. laughs like that. Go! Oh! <laughs> Scared. Last night I was closing at my work and my coworker already left for the day, but then this customer came up and was going to tell me something. He came up from behind. And I made like a weird face because he kind of startled me because he sounded a lot like my coworker. And I was like, it's been two hours since you were supposed to leave. Why are you still here? And he seemed a little like taken aback by it. I was like, hey, the only reason I reacted like that is because you sound a lot like my coworker. And I was like, what are you doing here? And he was like, oh, okay. Kind of a funny, funny situation there. Whoa! Okay, okay, cool! Look at that! That was awesome. I mean, I didn't even need the first one, I don't think. But... That was easy. Very nice. Okay, guys. We got a ground star. I think that means that a new portion of the game it's gotta be a lot for us. I think that uh, that blue dome, blue dome over there, is gonna be unlocked, or maybe it's gonna power up the um, observatory and uh, make that area up there less dark. Okay, this is like fountain, right? Yeah, booyah. Galaxy complete. More star bits. Discovered a new galaxy. Cool. Okay, yeah, the fountain. We're growing our universe map. Every episode. Well, not every episode. That ball of flame represents the power of the observatory. We call it the beacon. When you recover a grand star, a little star power will be restored. And the beacon will grow. The comet observatory can use the power to fly through the universe. Once all the power star, once all the power is restored, we'll be able to fly to the center of the universe. Oh, and also, I know my voice sounds weird, but um, just ignore it. Oh, the power is on, on in, power is on in the new dome. The fountain, yeah, you showed me. The newly opened dome is called the fountain. It's really quite relaxing. By the way, if you look at the map, it contains information about galaxies as well as domes. If you forget the location of a dome. Don't hesitate to speak. Yeah, let's save the game. Yeah, Rosaline's voice was a little deep there, huh? Wahoo! Let's go check out the, uh... We'll check out the Flip Switch Galaxy sometime, but I want to look at this, uh... This fountain area here. Alright. Wow, it's so relaxing. Look at the ripples in that water. All right, we've got another boss over there. And some more galaxies. Let's see. What is this one? This one. Space Jump Galaxy. I remember this one. I think it's part of I think it was a part of the trailer or um, what is it? Sneak peek? Or gameplay trailer? I don't know. Pole star path. Pole stars are fun, you know. Look at that. Some more Super Mario Galaxy goodness there. These pole stars. Yes, yes Mario's excited. 
those. Mm, too far away, I guess. Let's go! Go, 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 Mario! I could need some more star bits for more hungry lunas. I haven't really been using them for enemies because. As soon as I see a uh, hungry Luma, I just want to be able to unlock the galaxy, you know? Let's get these. Oh no! Oh, okay. I really thought that those things would have their own gravitational pull, but I guess I was wrong. Alright, this thing should. Boom. Oh. These little star chips, right? That's what they're called. I'm spinning! I'm going only one direction, but I'm spinning. You tell it. You say, you you tell him, Mario. Wee! Alright, let's get off these glass kushigi and go on to this ice looking kushigi. Oh, or not. Okay, go around. On a rocket ship. How did I say it like that? Rocket ship. I'm on the rocket ship! Oh, it's got some dents in it, huh? Maybe we can fix it up. We fixed a few pipes, we can fix a few holes. Spaceship holes. Pole star, anyone? Hey, cool. Pole star Fushigi. I remember seeing like a commercial for those, and they're just like, oh man, these are so much fun! Blah, 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 blah. It's weird how things exist, just just normally, and then they come up with, uh, like, as-seen-on-TV versions, you know what I mean? Like, uh... Like, I'm pretty sure those, those Chinese stress balls, that's what Fushigi is, I'm pretty sure. You know, but then they came up with the, uh, the, the ones that are clear, and then that's the sold by sold well, as seen on TV ones. Look at these spiders. That's that weird effect. The same one in the Queen, Queen Bee, you know. Alright, let's take this guy out. I know my wife would approve of this, that's for sure. She hates spiders. Ah, right! Down with you, spiders. Ouch! What a jerk. What? Imagine if spiders looked like that, though. They didn't have any fangs, they just had, you know. Two eyes. Interesting. You know, you you think that things in space would look more strange than we see on Earth, right? Aliens look bizarre and a lot of medium, a lot of media. But in this game, spiders look, you know, a little more humanoid. Two eyes. They're still quadrupeds, but you know. Da 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 da! Mr. Mario! As the brave captain of the Toad Brigade, I have already discovered a shortcut to the Power Star. Take the Sling Star at the top of the Star Shroom. That's a shortcut. Let's get some of these first. I feel like there might be something down here. Wait a second. Okay, yep, there is. Maybe uh, upgrade, um, upgrade Shroom or something? Okay, come on, Mario. Oh, okay. Maybe there is there nothing over here? Oh, whatever, that's okay. There's a good fight. Man. Yeah. So I managed to get the PlayStation 5, right? Like, I put out my Twitter story. So my wife, um, uh, don't ever text and drive kids. And adults or anyone, elderly people, anyone who, who drives, do not text while you're driving. Pull over or something. But uh, basically, I saw on Discord there was a uh, message that said to queue up. Someone posted a link to Sony Direct so you could buy one. And uh, I feel like I was late because I got, I always get out of work late. Never can get out of work on time, no matter how much I wish I could. Um, and, uh, so, 
thinking, thinking I'm late. I'm like, ah, there's no way I'm going to get this. But I sent Link to my wife when I was driving, which is stupid, right? But I guess it paid off. I didn't die. And um, for some reason, it's supposed to, it's not supposed to be random, I'm pretty sure, right? You get in a queue, you wait your turn. It seems to be the most fair way to get yourself a PlayStation 5. Um, so, because once you get in, no one else can buy or do anything. They just have to wait for you to check out. And then once you check out, it's the next person in line. Single file. Um, that's what it should be, right? You know, first come, first serve. But, like I said, I feel like I started late. And then, therefore, my wife started even later than I did. But when I, by the time I got home, the wait time said over an hour. And then, continually, my wife's time started going, getting lower and lower. Um, where am I going here? Oh, I'm back. Got getting lower and lower. And finally, it said, you're being redirected. And I was like, okay, don't refresh. Because this guy said, do not refresh. Otherwise, it'll get you out of there. And we managed to get Station 5. Supposed to come Monday or Wednesday, but actually came yesterday. It was, it was an awesome order that Wednesday came Friday. Super cool. I was just um, looking at uh, that metal that I was on in a minute ago in one of those weird metal platforms, and it's like, it reminds me of. Um, just kind of reminded me of like platforms in Ratchet and Clank. It made me think about that. That's a really good game. I really want to play that, but I need to find the, um, I need to find the HD collection, the Ratchet Clank collection, the PlayStation 3, because I can play, let's play PlayStation 3 games now. Camilla's airship. Okay. Another airship level, that's cool. I need to find it. Um, because I have Sly Cooper collection, I have Jack and Daxter collection. I need the Ratchet Plank collection. I didn't have that before. I didn't care too much about it. Um, just because I, I played those the most, honestly. Out of all those games, I played them the most. And I was like, you know, I don't need it. I'm good. I'll just, you know, kind of play these other collections, other games I have. But now I'm like, oh, man, I want to let's play these eventually. Share the super cool experiences I had with them as a kid. Mario, my brigade boarded the enemy fleet and none have returned. As captain, I would go save them myself, but I'm much too busy at the moment. And scared too. Mario Skidoo, we can too! My wife was like... You could... you could... do something like this. Watching Blue's Clues, you know? Said you could probably do something like this. And I was like, actually... That would be really fun. That would be really fun to do. In fact, um, I could just try to recreate completely from scratch a single episode of Blue Clues and just see how it goes, just for practice, you know? Because a lot of people, you don't want to copy stuff, right? But um, just for the sake of recreating, uh, what is it? Circumstances and situations, I guess. Uh, learning how they do certain techniques. I, I think that's completely fine, as long as you're not trying to make money off or anything, just for your own personal practice. Um, yeah. So, if you guys think you might want to see something like that, I would be down for it. Because I have a green screen, and I know how to walk, look like I'm walking in place, or at least I think I learn pretty quickly. I can make my hair look just like Steve's hair, and I can shave and look, uh you know, younger. I think he was, um, I think Steve, Blue's Clues, I think he was like 20-something when he started. I think he was 29 when he quit. I think he was like my age. Maybe a little bit older. He was 24 years old. I think when he started Blue's Clues. And then he was 29 when he stopped. Hit the treasure chest with a shell. Pow! If you're carrying your shell, shake Y, or press mm, you guys can figure it out, right? Yeah. There's so many fleeting- I have so many fleeting interests. And I say fleeting because I never- there's a lot I'd never act on, you know? Um, 
they never, the interests never really go away. They're always kind of there, at least minimally, but um, at least a little bit. There's so many cool things. Drawing or doing art, super cool. Um, doing Let's Play stuff, that's something I want to do for a long time. Voice acting, that is something that interests me greatly. Um, I was interested in animation for a little bit. Let's get this launch star. Go, go, go! I, I haven't played the base in a while, but um, I did for, for many... A few years. And I need to do it again, I miss it. You know? Instruments, learning all that. My my, uh, my mom had a saxophone. She just didn't like the uh, saliva build up, and so she decided to get rid of it. I guess. Kind of wish she would have kept it. And you know, I was like, yeah, I could learn it. But back then, I was a bit more just I don't know, focusing on immediate fun games and stuff. Let's see here. Games. Uh, A, that's what I meant to say, not games. If a shell is just out of your reach, you can spin. And that'll pick it up. Cool. I feel like I'm rambling on, but you know what? Stupid octopus is blocking my way. I bet a few shells would take care of the little problem. Octopuses, huh? Alright. I guess it's because you're talking about specific race or enemy type and that's why you say octopuses it's a this one now does this one home in or something ah oh, it looks like it did home in just now that's cool okay can i not use my camera that'd be cool ah sweet that was awesome i love that kind of stuff in mario where you can just like flip around on a, on a thing Yeah, but, you know, it's okay to ramble, right? As long as you're talking about something that uh, is interesting and making kind of good points. I uh, watched Owen Rogers' videos, and I was like... He and Thomas and Josh were the ones that made me want to watch, make, make me make videos. Like, um... Cat Burglar and, um... What other ones did I make? I uh, Signs? Thines was actually um, inspired by an Adventure Time episode where they talked to Signs. I just did it in a very terrible way. And you can probably tell that Cat Burglar was inspired by and Rogers heavily. Cat throwing something at someone. Uh, I don't think he'll ever see it, but I hope he does. He's, he's taking it as I kind of want him as I'd like him to just you know like just something harmless you know I would never try to piggyback on the success of someone else um, of course a lot of people do that with trends of course uh, like I said of course again like Fortnite you know people will uh, piggyback on trends and the old people are making money off of doing this yeah I'll try that but what I specifically mean is, uh, ideas, content. I don't want to steal ideas. And although I feel like I have terrible... I don't have many ideas, and whenever I write scripts, I feel like they're really badly written. Very corny, but not in a good way. Uh, that said, um... What was I saying? I do this a lot. I keep on... I just lose my train of thought. Um, although, I'm sorry, I, I, I lost where I was. I'll put it in, I'll put it in text in the video, probably. Alright, let's, uh, let's go over here, ouch. Get a coin, get some health there. I didn't need it when I was saying let's go over here, but I did, I did after the hit. Ah, there we go. Camilla. Boom. Nice mini boss fight. That's pretty fun. I actually really enjoy throwing those shells. It's it's a fun time.
Okay, so although I, I feel like my script is not that great, um, I feel like it's important for me to come up with my own original ideas, you know? Like, I think, I don't know if I said this, but yeah, I, I did say this um, in my Kirby video that I basically just copied their last Coke video a, well, a little bit, um, but I didn't post it because it was so similar. But essentially, um, that kind of stuff, those videos I'd never posted and just made unlisted and shared with family, that is uh, test videos, basically. I had, ooh, Rolling Green Galaxy, cool, let's go. Let's -a go! I, uh, I think I just used my phone. I didn't have a tripod. So I think I used... I just set it, like, on my desk. Put something on my desk and set my phone right there. That's where I did my, uh, pirate video. Rolling Green Galaxy, rolling in the clouds. I try to do my pirate voice now, and it's like, I start coughing. I don't know how I did it back then. It was only, like, like a... Two years ago, maybe? Hey now, if you're thinking about just rolling that ball away, you'd better listen to old billboard here. First, jump, jump to get on top of the ball. Okay, jump, jump. I'm glad I'm not, I don't have a cable tethered on this controller right now. Okay, hold it up. Ah, okay. That's right. Uh, that's what we call the basic position. From that basic position, you can tilt the Joy-Cons to move the ball in any direction. If uh, anything gets in your way, squish it. Anyway, you learn with more by doing it yourself. Hey, that's true. So I know you push regular jump button to jump. I don't know if he told us that, though. Okay, let's kill this little guy. Let's take him out. Look at those clouds. Oh no! Oops. Shock mount. Sorry, shock mount. This is, uh. This is, uh. Something else. It's a bit more difficult than I remember. Oh, I forgot I can jump. Of course. Yeah. Glad these aren't timed, or at least they don't seem to be. Far. Whoa! Okay. Alright, I think that's the first death of this episode. Let's try that again. Soon, Star, you will be mine. Whoa! Okay, yeah, cool. Man, I love how this looks. It is so good. I don't know if I keep the star bits from before, probably not. Because this seems like a good farming method if, if, uh, if it does keep it. Whoa! Cool, cool, cool. Not go down there. Let's go over here. I don't see much incentive to go that path, but this one. This one has star bits, yo. Whoa! Alright. Second death of this episode. Oh, boy. I am failing hardcore. Oh, yeah. I forgot you can do that. Um. Sorry, I had to scratch my leg. It itched. And then I fell off and died. Not worth it, huh? I forgot you do that, um... Uh, basically spin and then slam it makes a really cool animation for Mario. Wow! Share in the comments down below. Do you like these levels with the motion controls? These uh, ball levels here? I don't think as a kid I enjoyed them too much. Not as a kid, you know. I keep saying that. Anyway, I, uh, I didn't too much, but... I'm enjoying it now. I guess, uh... 
really helps that it looks so good. Like I said earlier, it's just it's it's so much enjoy more it's so much more enjoyable to play a game when you can hear every detail, the music and the sound effects. These headphones. Which these are decent headphones, it has pretty good bass quality. Oh my goodness, what's going on? Can I not actually Do I need to go momentum or just jump? Like, I feel like I'm gonna die again. It's so difficult. Alright, that's all I'm getting. I'm not gonna scrounge. I'm gonna scrape the bottom of the barrel. Scrounge for pennies. Wahoo! Did I finish my thought? I think I did. I don't know. I often do not finish my thoughts and get sidetracked. Forget what I was talking about. Ooh, yeah. Alright, well, I think that's gonna be it for this episode. Let's see if we got a new galaxy. We did. Thank you so much for watching. We're going to check out the new galaxy in the next episode. Until next time, take care.